love and illicit two, flip or flop, all those other we ones. We spend lots of time watching those shows. Clearly, you do. <laughs> you know, and it might be a good couple of days to sit and watch the uh, TV just a little bit. Of course, watching CBS 11 because we have some rain back in the forecast and fall air also in the forecast. Dallas Sky uh, Sky, time, Sky Cam time lapse. Say that three times fast. Uh, it shows that we did have the cloud cover pushing its way through at North Texas and the Metroplex today. All ahead of a cold front that is on the way. Not here yet. We made it up to 91 this afternoon. Very muggy for September. We're normally supposed to be at 85. Uh, Bowie, only, Bowie only had 79 degrees, 81 in Graham to 82 in Bridgeport. So there is cooler air just out to the west. And we do have rain also just out to the west near Decatur, also down to near Weatherford. Some light to moderate rain, a nice settling rain greeting you. A couple of isolated storms also pushing into parts of Jack County, south to north in Palo Pinto County, and down through parts of Stevens County, seeing some of that rain that is holding together. And this is drifting its way south to north. Eventually, will start to work its way on in. But I still wanted to show you the radar estimated rainfall over the past hour to two hours. And just in north sides of Palo Pinto County, picking up a half of an inch to near an inch of rain in some localized spots. And it's much needed rain. Cooler areas behind the front that has the winds turning to the north to the northeast, off in our northwest county, still an easterly. To southeast with a wind flow south and east of the front. But look at the temperatures cooling down. Bridgeport right now at 78, Mineral Wells at 72, 74 Billy right now to 71 in Graham. Mid 80s to the upper 80s holding on through the Metroplex and our east counties where we had a little bit more sunshine. Sulphur Springs, you're at 87 degrees. So let's track the front into tonight. Slowly shifts its way down to the southeast. And by tomorrow morning, we'll push its way through the Metroplex. Our south and east counties still have time for that to work its way through. Our winds will be out of the north and mainly rain out to the west. But I'm not going to roll out the chance of some isolated showers through the Metroplex in North Texas tomorrow morning. So overnight tonight, the temperatures cool their way down into the upper 70s to the Mid 70s by midnight, rain chances sitting at 30%. Look at the cooler air though. Lubbock's at 61. Oklahoma, at, Oklahoma City at 63, 59 in Wichita. Chicago's at 88, and we're at 89. So the warm air spreads well up into the Great Lakes. That front then eventually pushes its way through tomorrow morning, as we talked about. And then tomorrow, we only make it up to about 85, with rain chances at 20% in the afternoon to 30% in the morning. So not a big washout for us, but we are going to be seeing some much needed rain on the way. And going into Thursday, also rain remaining in the forecast. You can see Thursday morning, possibly rain chances right around 30%. And Thursday, temperatures are are going to be cooling down even more to 81 for the high, and then Friday 79 degrees for the high temperature for the opening of the state fair. Thankfully, I'll be out live there. I'm very happy about 79, and then this weekend temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s for us, and some fall temperatures.